Welcome back to the Beyond Kicks podcast. Uh, as always, there's a ton of things to discuss. Uh, this week, I didn't really write down a list because I didn't have time. I'm a little pressed right now. But as always, I'm Seth. This is Charlie. Charlie, how you doing? Get it. Yes, doing good, sir. man. How about you? Great. Great. Today's been a little rusty. I was about... 20 minutes late to recording because just work ran over but hey. 10 minutes late so we're good <laughs> <laughs> we live another day man but now nice. yeah this week's been this week's been pretty solid i did the um i was on the soul brothers podcast on friday so that was fun with a uh, flex luther oh, and morgan sneaker room those guys are so fun dude uh i had a blast i mean we were just talking about Growing up, loving sneakers, like how I got into it, where I used to work, like Foot Locker, Foot Action, that whole debacle, um, mm -hmm. dude. And then like after the pod, I think we stayed in Riverside and chatted for another like hour or two, just <laughs> <laughs> discussing everything. So I wish we recorded all fun. of that too, but hopefully the episode turns out all right. But yeah, nothing... Aside from that, nothing too crazy. Just catching up on videos because they just keep piling up and piling up, man. But um, yeah, what about you? Anything crazy? Any new remodels? Any fun videos you're working uh, on? What's the word? Nothing crazy. The podcast room's still kind of in the works. Um, yeah. Just content. I've been editing... Um, a couple weeks ago, I went out to New York and filmed a documentary yeah. for my good buddy, John Carlo, Blazendary. Um, so I just finished up the doc today. Uh, ended up being 52 minutes. I'm transferring it. We transfer right now. It's 89 gigabytes. So, <laughs> yeah. So That's I'm kind of figuring that out. But it's basically done. He's going to probably have a few edits left and then hit upload sure. on it. And then I'm going to New York next thursday again to do it all over so oh really okay yes yep nice so same kind of uh, format like do you like the final product is it like did it come out i guess the way you envisioned it you yeah so redo that i'm i'm, I'm excited about it it it's a it's a long watch 52 minutes i mean it's pretty yeah. raw it's it's up tempo at the beginning um and then it's just him basically updating it everybody on what he's been doing um, but she hasn't posted a video in a year and a half to 1.6 million subs or so. Yeah. Um, so, and then it's just basically a day in the life of like everything from his new car to text messages on how to do stuff on shipping stuff on running streams until 3am, like everything. So it's pretty cool. I'm curious to see the. I mean, there might be a thousand people that watch it. There might be a million. I have no idea. So, never. It'll know. be, it'll be exciting to see the feedback on it. It's basically putting them in a light that nobody's seen him as, because everyone thinks of him as 2018 supreme hype beast. Like that's what it was, sure. and he's yeah. not that anymore. And he's very clear about that in the video. So it's we're basically rebranding him. So we put out a few shorts and stuff, but. Um, yeah, it's. I'm excited. It'll be fun to see it go live. It's a lot. How long did it take you to piece all the footage together and like edit everything? Mm, Estimate, because obviously you didn't. I think it was about set a 10, timer. 11 hours total. Um, I feel like that so, sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. I this next Man. time we're we actually got invited to a private Louis Vuitton party, so we're going to that yes. Thursday night. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, forgot about that. Yep. So that's what we're doing. But then we're going to pound out like 20 shorts because those are super easy. Basically, the way we're doing them is um, it, every time somebody orders something or something unique, he'll pull it, talk about it. He's really good on camera. You can make up stuff. We don't have to script it. It takes a minute and a half to film it. it takes 20 minutes, 30 minutes, to edit it to final, just toss captions on it, cut it up, put some zooms few mm -hmm. sound effects and it's good to go and it's a good clip and he's done we did four of them in like a half an hour last time i was there so i think we're gonna pound out a ton of them because they're Crazy. easy for him and they're good press good push for his business as well as like it's content so yeah. um i think we're gonna do that and then yeah the party so that's exciting how long are you out there yeah did you already say 
36 hours or so. So <laughs> not bad. Not yeah. bad. No, I mean, it's been busy here. I've been doing a lot of content. There's been a lot of, there's a lot of cool projects in the works currently. Mm-hmm. Some of which I can't really talk about. Um, so yeah, I'll kind of keep everyone posted on it soon. I think you know about the, the one, um, but then there's some cool stuff coming up as well. So I'll fill you in off the pod, but as stuff I can yeah. talk about it, I'll obviously talk about it here first. So stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned. Um, but yeah, I mean, that no crazy pickups, no really anything. It's just kind of, it's been a work week grind week. Dude, that's been me the past like three weeks, probably. Work has been just like all, all in. Like that is taking up so much of my focus. And then, you know, yeah. I get done with work, hang out with Anna for a little bit. And then at the end of the day, I have like that hour and a half, maybe two hours. So I feel like I'm just kind of falling behind with a lot of stuff. But, you know. Yeah, I feel we, that. Not every week can be <laughs> content, content on the brain all the time um yeah outside of that if you're listening to this on the day it comes out tomorrow i will be at got soul so if you live in atlanta come say what's up there you go i want to meet some of you guys um so outside of that what are there do you, any new pickups this week any uh, fun stuff? No. no no i don't think i've gotten anything a lot of it's like stuff that i've had that now it's like posting about it finally um, fair no i don't think i've picked anything um i kind of impulse bought some off-white jordan 5 sales Subtle. that are yeah. cooked um, oh, okay i paid like 250 for them on harrison neville's website actually sometimes he just has super stuff just low yeah. so i'm gonna try to flip them for like 50 100 bucks whatever um not bad if not they're my size so uh other than that I bought an Apple Watch. I'm an Apple Watch person now, but <laughs> so that, okay. I didn't know if that was just a cool photo that you posted, or if like you've always had the Apple Watch. Like I don't no, know. I just but it got was a an cool Apple photo. Watch Ultra. Fancy. Blend Very out, fancy. baby. See, um, I want the Ultra so bad, but I have like small wrists. So if I got the Ultra, it would just be like this. It's big. Freaking, yeah, like it. My Anna's brother has one, and. His wrists are about the same size as mine, but it's substantial. And small every time I'm like, oh, small wrist gang, what's up? Um, so I'm the complete opposite. I need like it to be substantial. So Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. I'm used to wearing. Before this, I used to only wear a calculator watch. Like the same one that Dwight wore in the office. I wore it before I yeah, realized I he watch. had it. And I don't know <laughs> what it funny. is. I got it like in college at Walmart one day because I needed a watch for like spring break. We're all going to the beach. And I was like, I need a watch just to make sure I know what time it is. So I got it and I ran through like three of them. And for the longest time, that was it. I was just the calculator watch guy. It's, that's it's funny fun. i gotta bring it i need to bring it back in videos because i feel like that would i mean really it's cool. kind of like rocking a what is it a queso or a casino casio. that's what it was casio. it was a casio calculator watch dude yeah yeah it's to... like a subtle fl- it's like wearing nike monarchs kind of exactly. like i gotta find it cool. i think it's in my drawer i, I gotta get it you got any new pickups this week at all i do have a few pickups let's uh which one we talked about these, I think, last week, but the New Balance uh, JD oh, Sports I did get a pair Desert of Pack. Yeah. Which one did they send you? I got the they 2002s. You they gave you these? See, I wanted these I got the in like the men's size, but they sent me the 9060s in the men's. But the 9060s, like, they look pretty good, but Anna loves these. And then yesterday she came in, she was like, I kind of wish they sent me those the 9060s and i was like well i kind of wish they sent me those so we're like the yeah. <laughs> whatever but they're like kind of like same color as a lot of the brave stuff we have so we're like easy just beat them this summer going to games not bad no i completely get that random the other day crocs dm'd me and they were like hey we want to send you some of our new like sneakers just to review and i was like okay i yes. don't know what it is 
wasn't the Salehis. It's these, I think they're called the Echo Storm sneaker. They sent me like three pairs of them. They're like kind of cool. They got like a little bit of traction on the bottom, this neoprene mm. booty up top. Super comfortable. It's definitely like kind of weird looking, but they sent me like three different colors. So I guess got to make a video on those. And those are cool. I'm looking at them. They're pretty cool. Then the Fear of God, Los Angeles Runner, the shoe that we were talking Very about, about those. a few weeks ago. I know, dude. I was, I kind of like poked the guys at Adidas saying like, hey, I would love to review this shoe because I think it's super unique. But they're definitely better than I thought because when you see them online, it's like, I don't want to say it's underwhelming, but it's just boring because there's not much mm -hmm. going on with it. It's just a all like not even canvas. I forget what I say it's called in the video, but this like soft material on the toe box, premium suede, just everything feels great. And that outsole just looks gnarly. I like them. I like them. I'm excited to wear them because that's been one that I've had for like probably like a week now and i i, I don't know if you're yet. like this yeah i haven't worn them yet and i wait till i'm done a while and literally post the video to wear them because then i'm like oh well, i don't know if i need to get any more on foot shots and i don't want to dirty up the backdrop and i don't want to have clips with shoes that are already dirty i'm like mm. so i'm weird about that so now i can finally wear them and i'm excited for that the last shoe on the list. Drum roll, please. These are actually sick, I guess. But it's the Olive Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low oh, OG. That looks... That's a heater. Very similar to a number of other Travis Scott sneakers. Like, it's weird. I don't know if it's... Funny story. I saw that pair on Instagram and I scrolled right past it. And I was like, oh, that's just the old one. And then I See? like did a double take and scrolled back up and I was like, wait a second. I think that's yeah. the new one. Dude, Mo called me the other day. He FaceTimed me while I was editing and he was just like, dude, I got something to show you. And he like <laughs> pulled these up and I was like, okay, did you like get a pair? And he was like, no, these are the new ones. And I was like, are they? Are you sure? <laughs> like, so it, I kind of had did to they do have a, a sample take, tag but... on them by chance. Maybe. Look at the I'm tag. Not I'm not allowed to show that. But oh, really? Yeah. There, there could yeah. be. So there but, is. Yeah, you know, you know. Um, I didn't know that. <laughs> Let me out you yeah. quick. <laughs> Apparently, they're not. We're not supposed to say. I don't know. He always just says, "Photo." I have to Photoshop it out in the photos, or like. Well, try I and guess show it. they could tra trace it back. Yeah, especially in the videos. Like, I don't want to show it and be like, "This was simple," but I'm sure there's people that'll get bent out of shape over that. But it's it's a cool shoe it just looks identical to the golf pair i think like mm -hmm. suede's a little yeah, bit darker very similar. Um, i gotta get a pair of those man the golf season's rolling around what do they go for do you know like a thousand dollars seven really Ugh, it's so annoying Let me look dude, go. Like, i love the travis scott sneakers the quality is so much better than other jordan ones but I'm not going to pay that <laughs> to get them, you know? Like, yeah, they're $1,000. That's ridiculous. Like, for this one, I, I'll i go for these for sure. Like, it's basic. Like, it's nothing too crazy. But mm -hmm. for what it is, like, if you can hit them for retail, that's such an easy shoe to wear. And the quality is so good. I just wish they made them all like this. But, you know can't all have what we want i guess but are you, do you the like truth? these would you go for these i mean i'll go for them i won't get them but you i'll go know. for them yeah but they're not bad um what else i think that was really it on the pickup side of course i still have just other things on the way that will show up eventually i don't mm -hmm. know i don't really check the tracking things and i just kind of wait and if it shows up at the door then i'm like oh cool 
a package. <laughs> so fair enough. Uh, I'm the same we'll way. I actually, um, I just remembered another, there's so many different like projects going on. Yeah. That I like forget about some of them sometimes, but I have, uh, the next wear test picked out and I want to see if you can guess it. Okay. Uh, Oh God, this is always so fun. Is it, I'm assuming it's Nike or it Jordan. Is a Nike. It, it, it is both Jordan brand. Okay. God, see, that's hard. I want it. I'll tell you what I want it to be. Unreleased. I want it. Okay, I want it to be the Jumpman Jacks. It's not that because I feel like that would be interesting to see how they wear. Mm -hmm. Um, dude, but what's coming out? I don't know. <laughs> like it's I don't a know. Pair. It's like a a high um ticket item. Uh, I, guess I would say. So basically, I had. Have I reviewed? Shut up, Blaze Mary. He's scouted a pair. Got a pair. They're okay. I don't really know the ETA. I got to text them, but uh, we got a pair locked in my size OG off. And they're Have I reviewed a thousand dollars. No. Okay. There's oh, like nothing out about them. Collab? Oh, there's nothing out about them. What is it? The Not Nina a collab. Chanel? Damn. Nope. I'm trying to think of like what's coming out. Is it a what model? We've talked about it? it a few times. Okay. Which which silhouette? It's a one. Okay, that makes sense. High. One high. One high. Think. What's a pair that we've talked about that we're uncertain about? What is it? Why my brain, dude? My brain is so broken, and I have zero idea. Okay, it's the. Let me find it on the web, and I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, see that that's better. And this oh, is. Oh, I'm trying to think. Pretty man. much locked in. So if it doesn't happen, don't kill me. Um, but it's no. It's, if it doesn't happen, like you're done. This is like the I one thing I'm gonna share that if it doesn't happen, I'm gonna be pretty pissed about it. But. It's yeah. it's gonna happen. Okay. All right. So he says. It's the bottom middle pair, by the way. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Uh. So he's showing. So the, we got the, uh, Jordan, the Jordan One High Wings pack. Yes. The dude. super nice leather, Italian leather. Super high retail price. I think retail price is originally fifteen hundred for them. I think they lowered it to nine fifty for the highs. Um, yeah, but I to get them right. early, it's tough. Um, so, yes, that's, that's what we got. Cook that's so what we got cool. cooking. It's it's the white pair, right? The cream. The white you're gonna do pair, whatever yep. it is. The high, dude. That's gonna be so cool. I'm I know. I'm hyped really... about it. There's been a few pairs out there. The lows have been spotted. I know the highs have been too. Really? Um, I wonder so... if I'm going to see any at Got Soul. I'm going to be on the hunt. I, I would be surprised. I'm not going to lie. I think it was a private event that they had, but that That's was overseas. But yeah, let me know if you do. That'd be cool. Oh, everyone will know if I do because I'm posting them. Definitely get sure. content out on ASAP because there's like nothing out right now. I want to review a pair so bad. So <sighs> look forward to it. Stay tuned. Yes. Um, I'm stoked for you. It's actually going to be a really cool pair. I know. I'm hyped about it. Um, yes. All right. We got like 15 tabs. I say we just pound through all this stuff. There's a lot. Yeah, dude. Um, before we get into that, actually, following up on last week's episode, the Adidas mm -hmm. shoebox shoe was an april fool's joke but also it wasn't so i think it was on april fools you had to go to the adidas confirmed app enter sort of like a raffle situation to win a pair and it was completely free they treated it as sort of this like souvenir or like shelf piece to sort of you know show off like mm -hmm. but so not actual wearable footwear which is kind of a bummer because I thought that would be hilarious. But 
at the end of the day, I'm glad that they weren't selling them because if if they were asking like sixty dollars for a pair of shoebox shoes, people would kind of be up in arms. But yeah, so there it is. I'm I didn't win the raffle either. <laughs> I didn't win the raffle. I got the notification today, and I was like, I didn't get a notification, but I didn't get anything good, so I don't think I won it either. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there before we dive into this week's topics. But Charlie, you want to start us off? What we what are we looking for? Um, yeah, so this is kind of not really news, but kind of news. I mean, it's on sneaker news. But Seth, I saw yeah. you posted about this. Andy, good friend, teacher man, Andy Dutton, AD Sneaks, got an article yes. on sneaker news. So, and it looks like it's kind of sponsored by Adidas because they have yeah. shop links for Adidas all over. So. That's I I just thought this was fascinating because I was literally refreshing sneaker news to put together, you know, see what pairs we wanted to talk about this week. And I had already been on the website for like an hour and then I refreshed it again. And this article was the first thing that popped up. And I was like, Andy Dutton. And I was like, what? What is this? And I clicked it. and I was like, no way, dude. Homie got a whole article on sneaker news sponsored by Adidas talking about like how he balances being a content creator and a teacher, I'm like, that's so cool, dude. Like, props, props. It's very we well all, deserved. We're all proud. I love to see yes. the creator community winning. Especially after our talk, like, a week or two ago about the whole fiasco with the creativity and him not being original. And- and I thought Everyone that was funny. He's original, so. <laughs> because the whole title of it, or it was like something about being original, like near the top. Where does it say it? Content creation yep. original, sponsored by Adidas. So, <laughs> I mean, I if that's not validation, I don't know what I is. I agree. I agree. When I saw keeping content creation original, I kind of laughed a bit just because of last week's conversation. So I was like, very ironic. Yeah. (laughs) Funny for that to come out right now, which it is original content. If you don't think so, get over it. Oh, it most definitely is. We're just going to retitle this podcast, the Andy Dutton podcast, where we only talk. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. But, uh, yes, cool. Um, um, I don't know what order you have this in. Yes, I'll share. It. I was about this one. To say. So this one I freaked out about. So we haven't had him on the podcast, have we? No, not yet. So Steve Happy Life Wood and Steve Junior, his son. Um, I've known about this for a long time now. Obviously, I can't say anything. I didn't know all the details about it, but mm-hmm. um. Happy Life Wood has got a collab with Jordan, which is just that sentence alone is absolutely nuts. Um, so I've known Happy Life Wood for my whole content creation journey. I have prints from them. I I think I met them when they had like a thousand followers. It's very funny because like all my close content friends are like we linked up like when I was starting and you were you were starting and Happy Life Wood and Andy and all these people. Yeah. Happy Life Wood I've known for since they started. I, they did a piece for Julius Randall and it was on Nice Kicks and I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. I followed them. We've talked back and forth. I've sent them all my hats. I've, they've sent me mugs, prints. I mean, we're like real good friends. Um, and Steve Jr., I talked closely with. He actually hunts brand deals for me. Um, just kind of huh. off the cuff, freelance it. Yeah. Stuff like that. So, um he told me a couple months ago, four or five months ago, he said, Hey, send me your size, your address. We got something crazy cooking. Mm. And I was like, okay. And he's like, I can't tell you anything. And this whole thing started two years ago. And this is insider information. Nobody really knows this. So exclusive yeah. here on the Beyond Kicks podcast. But he sent me, um, he said, basically told me the info about them and stuff like that. And so saw this pop up. They did a little teaser, immediately called him, freaked out about the whole thing because I'm a huge golfer. They're big golfers. It ties in their artwork. It's actually a cool colorway, like a brown golf shoe, Jordan 9, like you can't miss. Um, and then they actually posted some kind of behind
cool premium Thank emblems you. on the back. I mean, the whole shoe is insane. Um, even the metal tongue tag. I mean, everything oh, I about it. So, that. That's cl- dude. Mm. The shoes alone are like super premium, and I think they're like two thirty retail, which is pretty steep. Um, but the they're golf series typically is that the insoles are insane. They look like a basketball court. You even get the Jordan hang tag. That's wood. I mean, they're, they're very nice. So mm. I am getting a friends and family pair that I'm absolutely over the moon about. So of that course. is coming in. I think you said it's shipping at the end of the week. So I'm going to buy a couple Let's pairs. Go. I'm going to buy two more personal pairs, one to beat one to stock. Um, well, you should. And then the friends and family pair. I was like, you got to have them sign it. Like, I want this is like display piece because I love stuff like that. So, to, dude. I'm still over the moon about it. Congratulations to them. If you don't know who they are, go drop them a follow. Be surprised yeah. if you didn't. Um, but yeah, do you have any thoughts on this? I just thought it was crazy because it was not what I was expecting to see on Instagram. Yes, it was yesterday, right? They announced it. Yep. And the I first, just, yep. I was just scrolling. I I never really scroll on Instagram anymore. I'm just not really online that much. And it was like, Mm -hmm. I think one scroll down and I saw the shoe and I was like, oh, that's a nice shoe. And then I saw who posted it and I was like, wait a second. And then I swiped and I was like, there's no way they got their own sneaker with Jordan brand. Like, it's crazy. Like, I started following them just from you posting them like a while ago. I don't remember what they were at when I started following them. but Long time ago. It's been a while for me as well. And it's like, it's just crazy to see. That was going to be my segue going into this. Like, it's crazy to see other creators winning. And I just, I love it, dude. Flowers. Flowers to them. We're all, uh, it's just cool. Because we all kind of started around the same time. And it's, it's just cool, man. It's crazy to see. That's very cool. No, I'm, I'm all over the moon for him. So, big win for them. Possible. Had to cover that. Had to. Uh, another cool one here, tossing it into basketball a little bit. This is pretty big news that's kind of going under the radar. Um, Victor yeah. Wembanyama, he's like the biggest number one pick. Like he's basically on his shoulders as he's supposed to be the face of the league after LeBron and Curry retire and Anthony Edwards too. But like Wembanyama, he's like, I think he's what is he seven four seven five. Um, <sighs> Seven four, but he plays like a point guard, and he's leading the league in blocks. He's leading. I mean, it's like he plays like Steph Curry, but he's the center, and he's seven four. Uh, anyways, he's getting a shoe already, which is insane because it's his rookie year, and that like does not happen ever. Uh, and it's actually a cool shoe. It's the Alien sneaker, which I don't know the official name of it yet. The and I don't think this is a signature shoe yet, but it's basically a PE of the Zoom Cut GT Hustle 2 in the Alien colorway. So it's his own colorway. Um, I'm a huge fan of them. They really, really, really remind me of the green foam posits from a long time ago. That, a, yes, that's exactly what it is. The, I was trying to figure the, it out. What are they called? The Paranormals. They look yeah. identical. That's so That's I'm cool hyped. Shoe. It's a yeah. good I saw silhouette the- too. I like the swoosh, all metallic. I mean, yeah, when you yeah. flip between these, it's like that's identical to the paranormal foam posits. So. so I saw Dez post these today and he was hyped. And I was like, I I had no idea what It's it a was. big deal. So I was like, hmm, it's a cool shoe. No, I'm definitely going to get a pair of these. 170 retail. Sick. So I'm pretty hyped about it's those for sure. Yeah. Big facts. Uh, some Jordan 11 Columbia's got leaked today. That's pretty cool. So is this Retro. the holiday release for this year, I believe? December 14th, yes. Okay. That's cool. That's that's a sneaker that I haven't seen in a minute. I used to have a guy that worked at Champs with me that wore a pair all the time. That was like his favorite shoe. When's the last time these released? Was it 2016? Is that what that says? 
Uh, there, had to, there had to be something after that. Remastered was 2016. Original color was 1996. Yes. I've always loved this color, but you know, I just can't pull off the 11s. That's not a sneaker I can pull off easily. But I've never worn a pair of 11s. I agree. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a hot one, for sure. For the small retail price of two thirty, but it's crazy. It's There's cool. So I like I, the one shoe that I'm still like we need to retro is the Jordan Four White Cement. I don't know how we've gotten this far. It's been since twenty sixteen, right? Like those are barely wearable. With everything else, they retro too. It's like yeah, I, we're definitely getting a reimagine in the next two years. I'd be shocked if we don't reimagine to be sick. Yep. Oh, these are cool too. Um, so these are the you know Dior these. Greenwood. Yeah, the Dior Greenwood mm-hmm. Nike SB Dunk High. I reviewed these five ish months ago and I honestly forgot about them. And I did too. <laughs> then I, I saw the these photos posted online and I was like, oh yeah. Honestly, I thought they already released and I was just kind of under the radar. Um, I think they're also coming out with it's like a is it a blazer like a blazer high to kind of go along with the theme of these but it's it's really cool i mean it's definitely an interesting looking shoe yeah there it is at the very top i think maybe maybe yeah Mm -hmm. all black it is a blazer yeah that one's all black but I like very the SBs. Like the SBs are very like colorful with like the red, blue, yellow kind of hits all over it. But mm-hmm. they're definitely louder. Not not really my style, but I think it's I like how shoe. they have the skinny uh, ankle part on SBIs when they do that. I really like that. That's my favorite part. The only thing that was weird about it is the sock liner is suede as well. That same blue suede. Mm. So I I think I wore like white socks when I was doing the on foot shots for the video. And when I took the shoes off, they literally left like a a slight like blue stain on my socks (laughs) from like just moving my feet around. I was like, like, oh, okay. (laughs) This is weird. But what are you gonna do? Cool shoe, cool story behind it. I'm not gonna go for them, but I'm sure they're gonna yep. sell out. Pass, pass, pass. Yeah. Um, another SB here. Live, laugh, love, loving the name. <laughs> Pretty funny. Uh, have you gotten these in and checked them out yet? No. I feel so these like are I also s- known as the big money savings. Was another name for them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think they've been like renamed to Live Laugh Love, which is hilarious. I mean, that's like that's a hilarious. White mom meme, like yeah, mid class fancy on Instagram, like that Midwestern like white people memes. Like that's like Live Laugh Love, like the epitome <laughs> of like going to Olive Garden, like got my new candles, like Live whoa. Laugh Love, like whoa, dude, we do not talk about Olive Garden that way. Is Sorry, Applebee's. I'm just <laughs> Applebee's. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's funny. just like that's 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 what it is. So live, laugh, See, love. SB Dunks is hilarious, but this they're actually crazy because cool. this is a shoe that I thought already released as well. Because I'm just all the SBs all I'm so pretty early. tuned in with because I really like the model. This one I'm probably gonna go for just because it's really clean looking and it's got a lot of detail to it, but it's not too much yet. And this so. one's easy to wear too. Like mm-hmm. it's not loud. It's not like distractingly loud. April seventeenth. So releasing in like two weeks. One twenty five. Soon. Soon. Yeah. Finally it's good to see more SB dunks, dude.
Bold. You know what I mean? Like these are way better than the Vimeros, in my opinion. I feel like they just have that elevated sporty look to them, and the tech is better too. But uh, dude, I, I really like the crazy. look of these. Yeah, man, and the top down since, is actually a really good look. It is. It really is. And ever since they did the Stussy collab, like maybe two years ago, a year ago, I've been like waiting for them to bring them back. And it's just been radio silence. But um, one thing that I'm seeing a lot of people talk about with these is when they released in 2020, the retail price was 140 which isn't terrible. Like you look at the Vimeros, they're 150 I think. Like that's kind of what i would expect for a nike mesh shoe yeah mm -hmm. and then you look at the price now and they've upped the retail price to 170 which not buying for that no shot i mean i would have to have owned a pair from 2020 and really liked them to be jumping on them for 170 if that makes sense because if they did that to, like, a shoe that I love, like, if I loved the, like, Keanu 14s, like, if they bumped the 150 to 170 or 180, I'd be like, you know, I already know I love this shoe. And if the colorway is right, sure, I'll spend it. But, like, I don't even know. I don't even know if I like the way this shoe feels. I have no idea. But, yeah, I just think they're I've cool. never owned a pair, so I have no insight. <laughs> I would have to. I I have to own one now. But they're cool. Um, Clean. They keep pumping out Kobe's. We got two new colorways coming out. Lakers colorways, home and away. All white, okay. purple swoosh, yellow accents, a little Kobe signature on the Kobe 8. I really like them. I love that they're bringing so many colors back now. Mm -hmm. Because now, mm -hmm. like, giving people Make an them accessible, baby. I'm all for that, man. Quit making everything so hyper limited. It doesn't have to be. And then we also this have the clean. college navy. Oh, that's navy. It looks kind mm -hmm. of black in the photo. I like those. Those are clean. Definitely. Yeah, I like these a lot. I just figured I'd toss them up here. More Kobe's. Everyone likes Kobe's. Yeah, might as well, dude. Might um, well. I saw Des posted about these. Pretty funny. Uh, what a burger posting some custom jordan threes that's crazy pretty cool who, uh, do you know who did the customs i think it's said right dank, dank and co i don't know who that is but it's a pretty dank uh custom man yeah they See, did a if, good job on it if i had a whataburger near me i would be more uh hyped about these although I feel like they just opened a Whataburger. This is definitely <laughs> just uh, a they Jordan just opened 3. a Whataburger a mile from me. Did they really? Yeah. Well, you're in, yeah, you're in Georgia. It's a southern place. Yeah. It was just never one near me. But sorry, what were you saying? Well, I was just saying, I think this is just a Jordan 3 Lucky Green, but a new tongue and a new back heel painted. And no size tag. Because it's a new tongue. Yeah. That makes sense, but, though. I mean, the it's clean. job looks great. Mm hmm It's all just a machine. I know that now because I checked out Jordan's place. Mm. Isn't that crazy? But, yeah, it's cool. I think they're doing a contest. Um, something. Sorry, I'm not educated on this. Hosting a contest for fans to enter for a chance to win these custom Jordan 3s. So... It's a contest promotional thing. I like it though. I mean, I like restaurant food shoes. I've reviewed quite a few of them. So that's funny. I like it. Co I like it. I, is it? It's like an official collaboration with Whataburger, though, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. With that like customizer. See, I like that. I like mm -hmm. that. That's why it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here for it. Um, Model that's really, really been growing on me lately is the New Balance 1000. This is the yeah. Don the Sleek Silver Metal or Silver Metallic colorway. We just saw the Joe Freshgood New Balance 1000s. Mm -hmm. Very foam positive vibes, very 
futuristic, like the women Yama sneakers almost look like this, like the metallic side panels. They're growing on me. I think I got to get a pair. And 150 retail is pretty Ooh, enticing, too. Yeah. I was worried. That's the solid. one thing I was worried about. Because I knew it wasn't a made-in USA or wherever pair. Typically, when they're not, you know, it's around 150 to 170 So, I was like, uh, please don't be too expensive. But, yeah, I think these are cool. I had um. My laptop was open earlier, and Anna walked in, and I had the Joe Fresh Goods pair on my screen, the pink one. And she just immediately said, I want those. Give me those. And I said, okay, I'll try. But so she enough. likes them, but I think they're really cool. They're cool. The only thing that I like throws me off is the top down with that uh, strap or you know fabric that goes up mm -hmm. on it, which obviously you can kind of lace it over that so i don't think it's that big of an issue but there's some cool here's colors there. coming out you know here's the joe freshies those are mm. what do you yeah, think cool. about these are you going for these they drop next week i think i don't think i'll go for this one yeah these are probably higher retail is my guess maybe not maybe not i'd go for the pink one i like the silver ones super simple yeah they Which didn't have like a triple white on this would look really cool too. New Balance GRs, man. Like, they're sick. Some of my least favorite New Balance pairs are the collabs, which is crazy. Like, you know, hot take. I agree. But well, it puts somebody's personal vision into something, and if you're not messing with their personal vision, then true. it's tough. Yeah, definitely true. Um, pretty funny story. Uh, LeVar Ball has not been in the news for a while. He's LaMelo, LiAngelo, and Lonzo Ball's dad. Um, back when they were in high school, he was always saying crazy stuff. Triple B was his brand. Um, the kids have grown on to be good basketball players. LaMelo, especially Lonzo, kept, keeps fighting injuries, and LaMelo's been fighting injuries as well. Uh, LeVar basically dogged his own son's shoes which is pretty funny which they're real popular shoes it's the Lamelo mbo3 yeah, and we dude. just got to the mbo4 and lavar basically said let's see it he said they've been training hard enough question no 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 because you're conditioning your body you're running and jumping in you're going to condition your legs so that's why i always have my boys in them hills running hard in them hills and they will make you run like a deer when you get on that court so you won't get hurt a lot of things have to do with them raggedy shoes that Mello be wearing. Them shoes are not made the right way for him, and that's why he keeps tweaking his ankle. Um, he's signed to Lamelo signed an endorsement deal with Puma in October 2020. Um, they've come out with a few different models. Here's the fourth model that's coming out that looks sweet, might I add. Yeah. Um, they've done a great promotional job with them. Like it's definitely a silhouette that a lot of people know about. It's definitely one of the more popular ones with the younger basketball crowd. Um, I know Drake's yeah. son's huge into him too. It, it's, yeah, it's a crazy move. I, I know his dad's always said some crazy stuff, but I know that if I had a deal with Puma and I was one of the best basketball players in the world and I was tweaking my ankles, maybe it's true, but. Well, to be fair, he said they weren't made like the right way for him. That's why I said is, maybe it's true. Very yeah. possible, yeah. But the shoes he's come out with are player. awful looking. They've fallen apart and they're super expensive. The triple B's. So Yikes. I don't think he has anything. You don't like the baller brand, him. bro? What? Yeah, not good. So kind of funny. Me. I saw that. That's funny. That's funny. But I mean, you can't deny, like, like you said, the mellows are everywhere. You walk into any champ sports, JD. They're popular. They're Foot super locker. popular. Stacked, bro. Multiple colorways. Like, they they keep them stocked, which I love, and the kids love them. Hundred percent. Um, couple more. We got two more stories here before we wrap up. Um, the Bodie and Nike Astro Grabber SP collab expected to drop in May. Do you know much about these? I don't. I saw like some images, like leak or something, or maybe like I think it's Bode. If I'm not mistaken, Bode. maybe it's Bodie. I yeah. don't know. Um, 
but I think they posted some images, but they weren't very focused on the shoes. The shoes were just kind of a byproduct of the photo. Um, the cream pair that you're showing, I think looks pretty good. The black pair, I'm not a big fan of, but hundred percent. I, I like this, the model. Yeah. But it's the very, mesh, whatever that is, like it looks like a summer, like shoe. I'm down. Yeah. With it that. looks like a picnic. See that. I don't like the, uh, the heel that midsole is like it's very narrow it's almost like the uh what are they called the ashads how it kind of like mm -hmm. tapers in a little cortezes are like that too yeah that's true i like the little uh, originals. little charms they come with though so I'll, I'll, yeah i mean it's interesting i like, like the colorway i mean i i really like when nike refreshes old old models from like their original days this is one of those so i'm here for it for sure i feel like every time they do this though so they've done it a few different times i can't think of what the other ones are but like the field generals that are coming out with union yep. these the honestly the union like cortez like every time they kind of tweak a retro model and make it look different i feel like it they kind of miss the mark a lot of the times. And they I think the big thing flopping. that is really crossing my mind right now is they don't use good materials on any of these. Yeah. And maybe that's intentional because the old shoes were not good materials. That was just the nature of it. Like they were really simply made. But like the, the toe box material on this black pair is going to get messed up for sure. And it's yeah. different because we have canvas and like a wicker basket look on the other, the, the sale, the sale pair. Um, but the field generals, I know Brandon Dunn was even talking about the toe box on those and like, it's a really mm -hmm. cheaply made shoe. So they, I just don't think that they've put like premium materials in some of these OG models, which maybe they never will. And maybe they don't want to, but if they did, it'd be fun to see. Yeah. I don't know. So. I just it's interesting. I just wish they would put a little more love and care into it, you know? I agree. I agree. <laughs> these, dude. Have you, have you been <laughs> seeing these around? I've been seeing like I saw one day. thing on them. We got the uh Takashi Mirakami uh slides, all green. They look like lettuce, Mirakami. bro from the side like yeah that. these are crazy if i start up the slide review series these definitely got to be on it you should you should do that like once a year like just kind of update maybe not maybe i'll have to pop maybe back not, like, into it as many videos but just do like you know pick out 10 slides, couple updates here's some new series. ones yeah yeah that's not a bad idea always coming out with something but yeah these are Definitely not for me. I've seen some people freaking out. One hundred twenty dollars retail is crazy. God, slides. I didn't even see that. But I've I've seen some people freaking out, being like, "These are incredible." Uh, they're not for me. No, you know, it's just slide with his uh signature sort of flower logo front and center. Um, Real nothing special kind of a, about them, but yeah, you know, maybe I'll try to get a pair of these for one hundred twenty bucks. I mean, yeah, I mean. I would. I'd try. You'll make your money yeah. back on TikTok. Maybe. <laughs> Dude, have they... Pfft, they've been tanking my stuff on TikTok, bro. It's this horrible. This is just cycles. It's horrible. Well, just like CPM-wise. Oh. Be like a million views with a 12-cent CPM, and I'm like... Really? <laughs> like... Ah, kills me kills me dude but yeah that's pretty much it i think that's it for today right yeah that's all i got thank you yeah. for listening check out the youtube last youtube video almost did a thousand views that's nuts yeah shout Trucks out Seth along, for the man. thumbnail yeah you know i try i try everything <laughs> but yeah appreciate you guys for listening and we'll catch you next week peace peace